Sing out tarot here with your intuitive Fridays for the week of December the 24th through the 31st. First of all, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because I probably won't get to do that. I won't leave any more readings this week. Um, however, I have a special going. I'm going to run this all the way up until the 20th. Excuse me, I got a hiccup so bad, guys. I'm going to run this up until the 26th and the, and it's going to be up to the minute reading. So whatever you want, how many minutes you want is how many, you know, how much you're going to pay for. So if you want 10 minutes, it's $10, 20 minutes, $20, 30 minutes, $30. Okay. And so forth. Remember you got 48 hours to pay that invoice. If you don't make your payment in 48 hours, I will cancel it and you will not qualify for any specials that I run for up to 30 days. Okay, sometimes longer because I'm getting a lot of people that are fucking with me. I don't like to be fucked with. Okay, you keep requesting readings and you never pay them. Listen, I do remember you. Okay, um, if you keep doing that, I'm going to shut you off and I'm going to charge you full price. Okay, and that's that. All right, now with this up to the minute, let me announce this there will not be a video. Okay, spiritual analysis video still sticks the same. It's $75 for the spiritual analysis video reading. Okay, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy from me. And I really don't like doing the videos. Okay, I like to talk to you directly. All of my readings are done over the phone. I don't do no email readings. I don't do that bullshit. Okay, so whatever you're used to with your other reader, listen, that's not me. I like to talk to you on the phone. We talk, we get personal and I'm able to teach you a lot better that way, okay? But if you're in another country and you need a video because you just can't make time for me, I understand. But you're going to pay full price for that, okay? Anything else, remember, up to the minute, um, you're going to get what you pay for, all right? So if you have a very complicated situation, don't even think about booking me for 10 minutes, Linda, okay? Because I'm cutting you off at 10 minutes. I am going to cut you off at 10 minutes, okay, Linda, all right? Um, it is Sunday. It is 5 15 PM and me and King are still broken up. I don't know. Pray for us. Well, maybe we'll come back together. Maybe not. I really don't give a fuck at this point. Okay. I've been single 10 years. So listen, I'm into the type of energy to where if it's meant to be, it'll happen. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to call you all day. I'm not going to text you. I'm not going to do that. Okay. If it's meant to be, if I was a good woman and I helped my part, it'll happen. All right. So as far as you babies, remember, this is all elements. If you'd like the opportunity to win a free 30-minute reading with me, do timestamp below in the comment board, okay? Keep all of your timestamps together. Please don't use, you know, uh, fire signs, this, and then five pages down, water signs. Don't do that. I will not pick you. I'm letting you know how to win with me. I won't pick you. Keep it all together in one little uh, passage and I will definitely consider you. Okay. But spirit ultimately makes a decision on who's in trouble and who needs help. Okay. Water signs, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for the week of the 24th through the 31st. What's happening spirit? Show me. Water signs, especially cancer. I know you had a very hard time over this weekend. Um, Friday and Saturday was probably one of your hardest times. You can't check your emotions. You don't know what's going on. It's the winter solstice with the full moon and cancer. Sorry about that. I was getting a phone call. It's the winter solstice with the full moon and cancer. So I understand that you probably didn't know what the hell. If you were coming or going, you're dealing with financial issues. You could be dealing with breakups. You could be dealing with problems within your relationship. What I'm going to tell you is that this energy, especially with the full moons, it only takes like a day or two to settle in. And then you're back to your, you know, sunny good life. So, you know, if you had your breakups and you're with the person that you love, go back and fix it. Let them know that you were going batshit crazy for two days or whatever and make it work. Okay? Make it work with your partner. Don't let this holiday season get to you. If you don't have the money to have a Christmas or whatever, then oh well, Linda. Okay? Get it when you do have the money. Don't stress yourself. It's one day. Okay? Two more. Spirit is saying to me. I'm using the Llewellyn deck. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. One, three, two. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 24th through 31st. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. 
the Eight of Cups, the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Under the Eight of Cups, we got the Lovers. Oh, wow. Okay. Under the High Priestess, we have the Will of Fortune. Under the Four of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles. All right. So we still got the money issues going on with you damn water signs. And Strength is under the Ten of Pentacles. The overall energy for the week is the Two of Wands. Okay, so listen to me. All right, I'm not going to spend a long time. This is going to be probably the fastest Intuitive Fridays I've ever done. Okay, because I'm getting straight to the point. I don't have time to waste right now. I have so many readings, so many bookings. People are booking 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 75 minutes. They're booking like shit. Okay, so I am trying to hurry up and get these videos and, and these readings and everything else I got to do. Those are you. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're already in a relationship. The Two of Wands represents that you're with someone already. You're having financial issues. Maybe you want to keep your money all to yourself. You got the King of Pentacles being here. It could also be that you're with uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, nine times out of ten. If I'm speaking to Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio women, and you're dealing with a Taurus or um, Capricorn, these people may be very selfish to you at the moment, okay? This could be their sun or rising sign. They're being very selfish to you at the moment. Maybe because they're normally able to generate a lot of money and then all of a sudden right now, it kind of seems very hard. So they have to scrimp through everything, okay? That might be pissing you off, um, water signs, okay? It could be pissing you off right now because um, maybe you're used to having or maybe you're used to being independent and maybe this person told you that everything is good, everything is cool, that you will have a Merry Christmas and you will have a Happy New Year. But there seems to be um, something to where they can't deliver at this moment. All right. They're having a hard time. Let me tell you something. At the end of the day, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, do not let your relationship be destroyed over money. OK, because at the end of the day, let me tell you something. The most important thing in the world, in the universe, is love. So when your love life is not going good, then your finances is probably going to shit as well. Okay? So therefore, what I'm telling you is instead of separating yourself from your partner at this time, you got the four of pentacles, so you're probably withholding affections, withholding love, probably not communicating, maybe even moved out of the house temporarily. When you do that, it's not going to make your situation any better. Okay, spirit has you in this sort of energy and they want you to stay in that sort of energy and it's meant for you to work it out with your partner. All right. You have your ride or die. You have the partner that's supposed to help you. All right. But if you close them out of your life and you say that you can do it all by yourself, then you may find yourself separated for this holiday season. I have the high priestess and the will of fortune. Uh, what this is basically telling me is that where you guys are usually together and very happy and very much in love. It kind of represents that right now you guys are separated. That's all that means with the high priestess and the will of fortune. Okay. You guys are separated. All right. You're separated from somebody you love very much because we have the lover's card here. And then you have the eight of cups. So it could be that you're, you know, walking out of your partnership because you're chasing finances. <laughs> Listen, Linda, don't do that. I'm telling you right now, don't do that. You're wasting your time. All right. If spirit has caused an abrupt change or a shakeup in your finances, the answer is not separating from your partner. If you have a partner, you need to be banding very close to them because believe it or not, spirit is going to judge you and weigh you as a unit. So when they weigh you as a unit and they see that you're working through your differences and you guys have one another, even though you're dealing with financial stress, financial troubles, then they will, you know, send you um, some help for the universe. But when you think that the answer is separating or not returning the call of your husband, your wife, your, your significant other, um, when you think that's the answer, you're actually going to go through something a lot worse. Worse. You're really going to have a lot more problems. Okay. So um, I've been seeing this a lot for uh, water signs as far as right now. There's a lot of breakups that's happening. Even King. King's a water sign. Okay. And, and I know he's not talking to me and I know he's not telling me that it's financial issues, but I know it's financial issues. At the end of the day, I love him for him. Okay. 
So he'll probably watch this video. And, and the truth of the matter is I love him for him. So at the end of the day, I'm going to be with you regardless. If you say that you're having financial difficulty, you can't create a Christmas, no problem. Talk to me about it. Okay, we'll work through it. All right, we can't have a Christmas. Fuck it. We'll have an after Christmas, motherfucker. That's what it is. When you've chosen your partner, when you're with the one, especially if it's a karmic soulmate, you guys are meant to pull closer together when you're going through financial difficulty. It's not meant for you to pull further apart. If you pull further apart, then it makes the situation a lot harder. Okay. If you feel like, oh my God, my wife or my, my significant other has too many problems. I can't really help them with their issues. So I'm just going to run away because they're going to judge me. They're, they're not going to judge you. They're still going to see you as their king. They're still going to see you as their significant other. It's just that you're running into a hard time and every relationship has a hard time. So what I'm going to suggest for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if you're having a hard time financially, discuss this with your partner. They may have a good idea in order to get you out of the situation you're in. You know, especially if you're a water sign, because you carry this whole emperor energy and you think that you know it all. And especially if you are the breadwinner with this king of pentacles being here, if you would talk to your partner and you would actually listen to their suggestions, they have some really great suggestions that could turn your whole situation around. So discuss this with your partner. Don't be so quick to leave them and pick up and leave and feel like it's doomed. It's not doomed. Discuss it with your partner. They have a way to help you. We have the Wheel of Fortune being here. A lot of you guys are in the vertex, especially if you are a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, and you have a rising in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You may be feeling that energy of the vertex. The vertex could be bringing around some past karmic issues that you thought you recently overcome, but it's bringing it back down to the surface. The, the whole process of getting out of that situation is to handle that situation differently than you handled it when it came before. Okay. If you need more information on that, you need to hit me up. All saying uh, tarot at gmail.com. Take advantage of up to the minute. Like I said, it might be just one question you have. Spend $10 and I'll answer that one question for you. It might be something simple that you can tweak and turn and have a better situation within your love life. Okay. Another thing that I see going on, I'm going to throw this out there, is that you could have your Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could have had a lover that may have moved on from you. Maybe this person picked up and left you. Your wife, your girlfriend, they picked up and left you. The vertex hit. They picked up, left you for a fire up. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And at this time, they don't seem to be letting up from this partner. Okay, so if you have this situation that's going on. I actually have some people that reached out to me and they're in this similar situation. They happen to be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And then they have a significant other that may have left them for uh, a earth sign. Okay, and they're trying to ask the question, you know, what's going to happen, Bella? Are we going to come back together? I'm going to tell you not at this time. Not at this time because they seem to be holding on to their earth sign very strongly. I also believe that the vertex brought this ex-lover or this past lover back around so that they can deal with some issues. It's all good. It's worth it. Let it go on because they need to see that this person, this earth sign is not the one that's for them. Okay. So if they need to see that, that this person is not the one that's for them. You can't interfere. Even though you're going batshit crazy, you want them to call you. You're worried. You're wondering if they're going to come back to you, be in a relationship with you. Yeah, chances are yes, because you guys are karmic soulmates. With this Ten of Pentacles being here in the strength card, it just tells you to have strength. Remember that you are the king or queen on the chessboard and they will return to you, but you have to let them learn their lessons. That is the message that I have for you, uh, Water Sons. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I love you so much. Listen, like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. If you want the opportunity to win a free reading, remember to timestamp below, okay? It's only one week. The energy will change coming within the coming weeks. So, you know, don't stress yourself about this. And I'll be back with the next element. Thank you, guys. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Remember to rewind to the very beginning to hear any announcements that I have going on for this week. Next up, we have my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for the week of December the 24th to the 31st. This will be your reading and we'll see what's happening with the energy. Okay. Those of you that are dealing with a breakup, I feel like it's temporarily. So don't, you know, lose your head in this. Especially if you're dealing with cancer, okay? Bella, too, is going through the same energy. If you're dealing with cancer, remember we had the winter solstice. 
with the full moon in Cancer, and it's a cold moon, so it represents secrets, and it represents um, untamed emotions or emotions that are coming out that your significant other cannot understand. If you happen to be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and your rising is in Cancer, then it could be you that have caused the breakup, and you don't understand why you caused the breakup, because you may be very happy with your partner, but when this energy shift, and when it collided with the winter solstice and the full moon, you don't know what the fuck, you don't know if you're coming or not. Okay, Spirit and Universe, what are the messages for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, 24th, 31st of December? Show me. I'm not trying to spend too much time. Like I said, revert back to the very beginning of the reading. And you will see um, my pricing, my special that I'm doing for Christmas. Okay, it's up to the minute, so you pay for what you want. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. It's a dollar a minute, okay? Here we go. I'm not spending too long on these readings because I feel like we're closing out the year. We need to close it out with a big bang and just let it go. Let go of all these energies, all the stress that we had. The Hermit. Okay, Leo. The Page of Swords. The Moon. Oh, this is crazy. And the Six of Cups. All right. Past energies coming up for a lot of you. Uh, fire signs. Under the Hermit, we have the Knight of Swords. Fighting arguments. Under the Page of Swords, we got the Eight of Wands. Okay. Under the Moon, Temperance. Under the Six of Cups is the Eight of Pentacles. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so Fire Signs. Listen. A lot of you may be exactly where I am right now. You know, frustrated, don't know if you're coming or going. You just had a breakup from your karmic soulmate. You don't understand what the hell is going on. Well, let me tell you, I'm going to break it down real quick, so catch it. We have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is about learning from your past mistakes. Whatever you went through previously before you got into this relationship, it's time for you to address some issues that you thought you overcame but that are coming back to the surface in order to really prove that you've overcome these issues. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords and this is what it's talking about. It's talking about addressing those issues and dealing with those issues in a different manner than the way that you've handled them before. We have the Page of Swords with the Eight of Wands. You could be dealing with a partner that confuses the shit out of you. Maybe you're talking to somebody or maybe you've been talking to someone that lives a distance from you, okay? They're not telling you what is going on with them. They're keeping secrets from you. It's the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands. Maybe you have a, a online communication type of relationship or maybe you have text messages or maybe your partner just picked up and you're separated at this moment. You want to flip the fuck out, fire signs. OK, but it's not time for you to flip out. It's time for you to reflect, reflect on the things that you've learned when you went through the vertex, because we went through the vertex from the end of July up until October. Fire and water. OK, you were supposed to learn some very important things in that. And spirit is re testing you on that. So they're bringing up some issues that you were supposed to overcome with that vertex. Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands. Page of Swords just represents that you think that there's secrets that are out there. Maybe you think your partner is cheating on you because they're pulling away. They're not calling you as much. They're not texting you as much. We have the Moon card here, which represents secrets and represents things that are unseen. We have the Temperance card here. The only reason why this is representing secrets that are unseen or things that you don't know what the fuck is happening in your relationship is because you're supposed to go off your emotion, the things that you feel. So if you're not talking to your partner, your partner hasn't called you in a week, two weeks. They haven't called you in two, three days. It's not meant for you to automatically jump to the fact that they're cheating on you. It's meant for you to go back and reflect on when spirit had you single and when you were what not with anyone. Okay, it's time for you to reflect on the different emotions and the different feelings. Do you feel that this person is cheating on you or do you feel that they still love you and there's still time to do in this partnership? Whatever they're teaching you, whatever lesson they're bringing, are you fighting and arguing through that lesson with this king, the knight of swords? Or are you um, trying to be understanding towards this partner? Okay. You need to handle this trigger because that's what it is. It's a karmic trigger. You need to handle it in a different manner so that you can overcome it with the temperance card being here okay we have the six of cups with the eight of pentacles and this just represents that spirit is bringing around previous things that you've completed in the past 
previous things that you completed in the past already, seeing if you're going to take a different approach this time that it, you find it on your plate again. Okay, that's all it's representing. So I'm speaking to those Leos, Aries, Sagittarius that may be in a brand new relationship and you're with a relationship that happens to be karmic. This person right now is triggering on some sensitive things within you that has already happened in the past that you may have handled it in not the best manner and it may have caused you to lose that relationship. Well, when they bring it back this time, you need to handle it in a different manner so that you could overcome this karmic, uh, karmic lesson and that you can find yourself back together. Okay, so the separation is temporary. Spirit is only using it to see how you're going to handle yourself in this light. And once you handle yourself, you know, um, better, then they'll put the two of you back together. That is the message that I have for you. Okay, I don't have anything different. Now, those of you that are not in a relationship, if you're single, then they're going to use your family members, the people that you're associated with, your circle of friends to bring this lesson back to you. And it's still the same thing sticks. Whatever you did in the past, when they brought this lesson to you, you got to do something different this time in order to complete this lesson. It stays the same, even if you're not in a relationship. Okay. That's what I have for you. Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. If you'd like the opportunity to win a free reading, remember to timestamp below. Share this video with someone else if it's not your energy, okay? But you know somebody else that's going through it. Listen, it's one week. You'll get through this, all right? And a lot of you that are dealing with the vertex and you happen to be a fire sign, it's only because your rising is in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So it's only bringing up lessons from the past, Hoping that it will be a different result or a different action that you take than the action that you took previously. Okay, so it's very simple. Once you complete this lesson, it'll put everything back together in its proper parts. So if you're separated from your karmic soulmate because they triggered you and you handled a situation, handle it differently than you handled it before and you and your partner will be back together this week if you are you know single you don't have anyone in your life well they're going to bring up some sort of issue with your family or with your you know um friends and you need to handle it in a different light and then they'll put your life back together that's what we're dealing with fire signs all right i'm running a special up to the minute whatever how many minutes you want to book how many minutes if you got one question book 10 minutes if you got multiple questions, you might need an hour. I don't know. Okay. It's up to you. I'm going to cut you off after that minute is over. So, you know, if you ask a thousand questions in 10 minutes, I'm not going to get through them. I'm, I'm not. Okay. So therefore, you know, book what you feel that you need. That is my gift to you for this Christmas holiday and this new year's. I love you so much. Merry Christmas. Happy new year. And I'll be back with the next element. Welcome back lovers. This is Bella Dutch from All Sing Out Tarot. Here with your Intuitive Friday. So this is your weekly read for December the 24th through the 31st. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And if you missed any messages, you should rewind to the very beginning of the video because that's where I leave my messages. Any specials that I'm running or anything that I needed to talk about or throw out there, you can rewind to the very beginning of the reading and then you can find out what the messages I have for you. Okay, air signs. The only um air, the only message that I really have for you before I lay these cards is that um as far as Libra is concerned, Libra may be having a very hard time right now because it seems like the vertex has settled over top of you. So it could be bringing back a lot of exes, a lot of situations that you thought you overcome, that you thought you gotten over. It could be bringing that back into your life in order for you to still deal with it. Okay. Um, as far as Aquarius and, and Gemini is concerned, I really don't feel like you're deep in the vertex yet. Um, come the very beginning of January, you might find yourself with the upheaval or a shakeup going on in your love life, um, in your finances, in your career, and you don't know if you're coming or going, okay? Um, but I don't feel that Aquarius or Gemini has really settled into the vertex. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? For the week of the 24th through the 31st, show me. One more here, guys. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. 
we got the nine of wands the ace of wands the three of swords five of cups under the nine of wands we have the horned one which is the devil this is karmic situations you're dealing with that you can't seem to let go of air signs five of pentacles under the ace of wands under the three of swords we got the hangman and under the five of cups is the nine of swords overall energy for the week happens to be strength all right so very simple reading i'm doing these really fast i'm not spending a lot of time with these okay First and foremost, I kind of feel like a lot of you air signs are dealing with someone that you've been dealing with for a very long time. You keep doing the same thing, expecting different results, and that's not what's happening, okay? You're not going to get different results, okay? Because it is time for you to put your foot down with the partner, all right? This person keeps screwing you over, setting you up, telling you they're going to do things that they don't deliver on, but you keep sleeping with this person. You keep opening your heart up for this person. You keep inviting them back in, and they're not changing, this vertex brings around for you um, the ability to see your patterns and to see that it means you no good with this partnership. Meanwhile, you keep expecting it to change. You keep expecting this person to get better. This person has hurt you very badly in the past. Okay, They may have chose a different lover over top of you. All right. Um, it kind of represents that with this vertex coming around, it could be bringing you back into this person's life. Who is this person? I don't know. It can be a fire sign, an air sign um, like yourself, earth sign or water sign. It doesn't matter. The main point that is sticking out that spirit wants you to get through this is you love this person. You're attached to this person. They happen to be a karmic soulmate. You're going to continue to go through this situation. And I really feel like looking at this reading, it's more than a karmic soulmate. It kind of happens to be a life partner. And life partners sort of take you out of your comfort zone. So they get you into the point to where you have to realize, how much do I love myself? How much do I trust myself? Okay, because this person is, you know, causing me to do things that are way out of my character or they're doing things that make me feel uncomfortable. OK, what is it meant for you to do? Well, it's meant for you to put your foot down. It might be time for you to walk away from this situation, not for the long haul, but just to put your foot down and let them know I'm not going to deal with this shit no more. I'm not going to deal with what you're bringing me. The problem is um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini is you're so afraid to put your foot down because you feel like you're going to lose this person forever. That's not the case. OK, it's meant for you. To tell this individual, listen, I'm not dealing with your shit. You're not going to keep promising me, my kids, this, and, and promising that you're going to be a good man to me or a good woman to me. And then you keep reneging on your word. All right. Well, guess what? The only way that they're going to learn that you're not going to take it no more is if you actually put your foot down and they feel like they've lost you. OK, so that is the biggest message I can give you. You're going to have to put your foot down and make them feel like they have lost you period. It took everything in me to give King the garbage bags to pack his fucking shit and tell him that he got to go. It took everything in me because I don't know if I'm going to lose this forever. I really love King and I'm, I'm so obsessed with him and he's obsessed with me and we're so used to sleeping with each other, but I got to put my foot down because if I don't, then what's going to happen is he's going to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. And I'm only saying it in your reading because I know he ain't going to watch it this far because he ain't got no ear side that he wants to worry about. OK, but the truth of the matter is even Bella, I was so afraid I'm going to lose King because I love him and, I, and and he makes me happy and we have a really great relationship. But, you know, when he did something that he had no business, when he stayed out all night and then came in the next night and then said he was taking a change of clothes and then he would see me the previous night. Listen, Linda, no, fuck to the no. That's not what you're going to do. That's not what I'm going to accept. And I could have put my foot down and he could have packed all his shit and never come back. None of King's stuff is here right now. So he could never come back. But the truth of the matter is what God has for me, what spirit has for me is for me. I don't have to act like I accept something to keep this person in my life. He has a responsibility to teach me lessons and to trigger me. And I have a responsibility to trigger him and teach him lessons. I need you guys to remember that.
Okay. Put your fucking foot down. You're tired of dealing with the same old shit. This person is not changing. You've been going through it for many years. You keep accepting them. All right. We got the devil card here. They keep taking you for granted. The five of, cup, five of pentacles. You're feeling as if you don't have anything. So it's kind of like you're holding this relationship down by yourself, but you really don't feel like you have anything. Meanwhile, you keep sleeping with them. It's not teaching them the lesson. This is your test. Put your foot down. I'm not going through this shit no more. Three of swords. It's over. I'm done with you. The hangman. Spirit will back you 100% once you're able to put your foot down. And believe it or not, this person will make a 20, you know, that 24 hour turnaround or 48 hour turnaround. And then they'll come and get it together. The five of cups with the nine of swords. But you've got to be willing to stop it in its tracks. If you don't stop it in its tracks, it's going to be the same thing over and over and over again for many years. All right. That's my message to you. Like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit your notification button. If you'd like the opportunity to win a free reading, timestamp below. Take advantage of Up to the Minute. Right now I'm running a special, Up to the Minute. However many minutes you want to book, that's what you pay for. 10 minutes, 10 bucks. You know, 30 minutes, $30, okay? You have a small fee on there, that's PayPal's fee, okay? But um, take advantage of it. All right. If this didn't answer your questions and you got something a little bit more complicated, I'm here. All sing I tarot at gmail.com. I'll be back with the next element. Thank you guys. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you guys. Next up, we have my beautiful earth signs. Oh, what can I say about you guys? You're going through so much right now, earth signs. Oh, Lib um, well, not Libra. Libra's going through a lot too. Especially if you find yourself connected with a Libra, but Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo. You're having a hard time right now. I definitely understand. This vertex is very difficult for you because it's bringing up a lot of different uh, situations that you thought you overcome. It's bringing back a lot of exes that are kind of hard for you to cut off and to put in their place. It's hard right now, but it will pass. Be present and realize the lesson that spirit is trying to teach you. Once you've learned the lesson and you have a true understanding, then it will no longer become an issue. Spirit and universe, what are the messages you have for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo for the week of the 24th through the 31st of December? Show me my earth signs. What can I tell them? What are they, what are they dealing with? Okay, three more guys. I'm not spending a long time on this um, Intuitive Friday. This is done really quickly because I'm spending a lot of energy on things that, you know, it's like I'm beating around a bush. I'm just getting straight to the point. Spiritually, where you are, what spirit is expecting of you, and that's that. Two, three, one again. Okay. Here we go. Three of Cups. Five of Wands. Judgment. And the Two of Pentacles. Under the Three of Cups, we got the Ace of Cups. There's pregnancy in your reading, guys. So you could be connected with someone that you have a lot of competition with, but this person is not telling you they have someone else pregnant. Under the Five of Wands, we got the Three of Wands, and this person could live out of town. Under judgment, we got the five of swords. This is betrayal behind your back. And a lot of you are finding out that the person that you love, the person that you're in love with, the person that you've been spending a lot of time with has not told you that they have an ex, a new person that's out of town that is recently pregnant. Page of wands under the two of pentacles. Overall energy is the magician of pregnancy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For Taurus, I've been seeing this for a while. Okay, there's pregnancy within a third party situation. Seeing with Taurus, it has been a fire sign. So uh, Sagittarius and Aries is very heavy on Taurus. In the event that you are a Taurus female and you're not pregnant by a Sagittarius or Aries male, then it's probably that you're connected to somebody, one of your partners, um, especially if your partner happens to be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They have a Sagittarius Aries that may be pregnant. If they're not pregnant right now, then it could be a previous baby that was made years before, especially those of you that have been in a marriage or in a long-term relationship for a long time. It kind of represents that this vertex is bringing that back up to the surface. When there was infidelity, there was a baby. 
this person lives a distance from you. Okay, so they may live out of town. It's posing a threat on your relationship. It's, it's posing problems on your relationship. You feel competitive. You feel like you have to compete. Listen to me and listen to me very seriously. Those of you that are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you are female. You have a male that you just found out that he has a baby on the way with someone else. Your initial reaction would be to argue with this person, to fight, to, to anger very quickly. Because you don't know what to do with yourself. I'm going to tell you not to do that. OK, first and foremost, you do not want to, you know, push this person out the door to this other individual. Accept it because that's the only thing you can do. OK, if your partner had a baby on you, all you can do is either accept it or you can let this relationship go. For a lot of you, you don't have the option of letting this person go because this happens to be your karmic soulmate. And a lot of you have created this energy for yourself. Why did you create it? Well, because you held the lover that you were connected to in contempt. You weren't happy with your partner. You constantly accused them of cheating. You cut off the sexual intercourse and you start fucking around with other people too. So let's not, you know, leave you out, especially if you're Capricorn. Capricorn has an issue with, you know, creeping around. Okay. Um, Capricorn, definitely Taurus. Taurus. Taurus can't let go of the past. So you could be speaking to someone from the past, involved with a past lover, and this is creating a lot of disharmony in your marriage, in your relationships. All right. What I'm going to tell you, I'm going to recommend that if you are earth sign and you're having a hard time right now and you're dealing with this pregnancy issue, you need to hit me up. All seeing uh, tarot at gmail.com. Take advantage of up to the minute. All right. If you haven't taken advantage of that, take advantage of that. It's not often that I run that, okay? 10 minutes, 10 bucks, 20 minutes, 20 bucks, 30 minutes, 30 bucks. I don't usually run that, okay? I usually keep my prices pretty set between 60, 75, and $45, okay? Um, so I'm running a special for Christmas, and I want you guys to all get help, okay? Um, let's see. What else do I see for you guys? Hmm. There's so much energy that's going on, so much betrayal that's happening in the signs of Earth. I really feel like for looking at this reading, this is highlighted for Taurus and Capricorn. I don't feel like Virgo is going through this much. All right. I feel like Virgo, you could be dealing with some issues as far as, especially if you are, you might be the person that actually has the baby on the way. If you're Virgo, you might be the actual Virgo male that has the child on the way or have been creeping and, and being unfaithful. And now you're dealing with uh, these sort of issues. But I really feel like for some reason, I feel like this is Capricorn and Taurus that's actually receiving the news of pregnancy. All right. What I'm going to tell you is I'm going to recommend that, like I said, you reach out to me and take advantage of up to the minute because there's so much energy happening within my earth signs that I don't even know which way to go with this. OK, if you're Capricorn female and you might be connected with someone who happens to have a baby um, that lives out of town. All right. And this is posing a threat on your relationship. They kind of knocked you out of this relationship. Maybe you're just not finding out about it. If you happen to be Virgo, maybe you are the Virgo male that created this child um, with a third party and maybe you're connected. Maybe your wife or your main person happens to be Capricorn or Taurus or something like that. Okay. If you happen to be Taurus, then Taurus, for a long time, I have been seeing that you have been unfaithful to your lover, especially if they're air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You've been unfaithful to your lover with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, and you find that your, you know, your third party is pregnant by you. All right. And this is, you know, a coming thing that may pose a threat. You just need to reach out to me because literally this reading is literally all over the place because every one of you earth signs are in different areas, different categories and and very confused. And, and there's a lot of confusing energy. OK, but if this is you, hit me up. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. Take advantage of up to the minute. If you like the opportunity to win a free reading, like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button, timestamp below if you want to win a free reading, okay? Make sure your reading is all together, and I will, maybe I will consider you. Maybe your situation is tough enough to where you get a free reading, okay? That's what I feel for you guys. I love you so much. I want you to have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Enjoy your time. You know, don't stress too much. Um, 
If you're air or earth signs, this is the time you need to get in and take advantage of the up to the minute readings because, you know, the energy is literally all over the place. You're in the vertex and it's very difficult for a lot of you, you know, fire and water signs. You know, if you're having problems within your relationships, I recommend that you reach out to me as well. Okay. I love you much until next time. Thank you guys.